Chill the fuck out, sucker! Oh my oh god! god! No! What the hell? Holy shit! Oh my god! Tell us it's smash, bro! You can't be serious! What a time to be alive. Hey guys, it's me, man. Action, bring guys a big news update. Guys, I am so hyped. Like, yesterday, I've just come back from school. Yesterday was so hype that, man, I just needed to talk about it. So I was originally going to do a live reaction of yesterday's Nintendo Direct, but I decided not to considering what time it was being released. It was released around, um, it went live 10 p.m. Uh, in London, in Europe, and it was different times everywhere else. So I couldn't record because it was late at night. Um, my sister was sleeping, my mom was sleeping, so I didn't want to um, disrupt the house with my huge shouting even though i kind of internally screamed when when the direct was going on but man the big news that happened last night was none other than cloud strife from final fantasy 7 will be in super smash brothers for wii u and 3ds as a playable fighter i couldn't believe what I was seeing nobody I don't believe anyone called this anyone who called this got this on a fluke I can't believe that Nintendo were able to keep this hush com comparing it to other big leaks like Ryu and Roy and then you compare it to how big of a news drop is cloud strife cloud motherfucking strife from Final Fantasy 7 Final Fantasy 7 has never been on a Nintendo console, ever. It has never been on a Nintendo console. So for Cloud Strife to get in over characters like, like Wolf, Shantae, uh, King K. Rool, and all those characters, for Cloud Strife to get in is a massive deal. This literally opens the floodgates for any video game character to be in Smash. Hell, it might not even be video game character. We could get Goku in Smash for God's sake. Sakurai has said it before that the characters use, well, it has not been specifically said, but it's something that has been um, sort of, what's the word for it? Sort of kind of um, hinted in a kind of way that the way that they choose characters is they have to be on a Nintendo console. So Final Fantasy 7 has never been on a Nintendo console unless they release it on the eShop which I think is something that they're thinking about doing. Other than that I can't believe of an I can't think of another reason why Cloud Strife would be in the game. Is he a ballot choice? That was the first question people were, were honestly thinking about. Is he the number one ballot choice? Was he the one that came out on top? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt he was the bad choice. I think Sakurai put him in the game for the sake of just putting him in the game. He's one of the most iconic characters from the Final Fantasy series and from one of the best games, considered one of the best games of all time. Final Fantasy 7 is a massive staple, is a big milestone in video game history and for it to not be represented in smash wouldn't necessarily make sense but you would probably think that some of the other games in the series that actually appeared on nintendo consoles like everything before seven pretty much uh would probably give a give a would probably get a shot over something like cloud strife but cloud strife he means more to a lot of people than you know just he's kind of like a face of final fantasy he's the big guy of Final Fantasy 7 so I believe as a fighter he looks a lot like Cloud uh, he looks like a lot like Ike and a bit of Shulk with that limit break ability that he has I think that will probably be his neutral B charge move that allows him to or probably his down B I think his down B would make more sense 
um, his down B will probably be that limit break charge move where he, he charges up and then he's able to um, do a lot more damage uh, it changes his entire move it almost changes his entire move set he gets stronger uh, he gets a uh, higher jump he gets um, better recovery and all of that so I think in that terms I think it's gonna be a really cool character he also added in a new stage I believe that is Midgard from Final Fantasy 7 uh, people getting angry about this shut the fuck up like legit I don't understand you people like I understand you want your character in the game but this isn't your game this is Sakurai's game you know what I mean I think people need to calm down and think yo this is a really awesome character that they're adding to the roster rather than taking away from people's like people's hype for the game like nobody expected this nobody expected cloud strife to be in the game nobody predicted this i think only like one probably like a few people um predicted this as a joke um there was a guy i saw on twitter his tweet will be up here uh he he predicted it in 2011 i couldn't believe that um there was brawl taunts brawl taunts predicted it uh in a weird kind of way uh but nobody else really thought he would get a chance and there are a lot of people getting angry about this i'm like why are you being angry you have not been angry with the rest of the characters in the list why are you getting angry about one character it's thing i think it's because their expectation didn't meet the they they kind of expected something different and that's fine like you can disagree and stuff like that but like i i completely disagree with you i just completely disagree with you this is such a big thing for smash brothers this opens the floodgates for so much more than just uh than just than just cloud and there could be tons of new third party characters in smash i'm happy you know what i'm happy in the smash brother i didn't vote for anyone besides wolf and bayonetta and i and i know for a fact bayonetta probably won't get in this game i didn't i couldn't care less about the smash brother all I care is that we're getting new, interesting characters that I want in the game. That I want to see. That I want to play in the game. I should say. I want to play these characters and really experience, and really experience a brand new like set of characters. That's what I want. I just want new characters in the game. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they're good. I just want to have fun with the game. And that's what people. That's what people. Um, I feel like a lot of people. I feel like they're entitled. Like. Oh, Sakurai said we get to choose who's the next character in the game, but it was the Smash Brother clearly wasn't that. People think it's a popularity vote. I doubt it's a popularity vote. I think it's more a kind of marketing tool for Sakurai and his team to think, okay, these are the characters that people want. How can we make these characters in? Are they viable? Are they? Uh, can they fit within the Smash Brothers cast? I think that's what he was thinking about. Not like, okay, who's the most popular character? Let's put this in. I mean, this is a video game, not politics. If this ballot was to be, you know, the end or be all of who char whose character is going to be in the game, then he would have said so, but he didn't say so. So, I feel a lot of people are taking this way too seriously and, and they need to have a step back and just enjoy and just enjoy what we have rather than uh, going all up in arms going crazy about it let's talk about the rest of the stuff that happened in the direct and there was a bunch of stuff they said that Star Fox Zero will be releasing in April I believe um, Hyrule Legends 3DS showed off a new character Linkle which was I think Game Explained like they were, the guys at Game Explained they were really hooked on this like they really thought that this was going to be reality and it is Linkle a character that is kind of like a female Link was was um, announced as a playable character in Hyrule Warriors Legend and of course she is going to be playable in Hyrule Warriors on the on the Wii U. Xenoblade Chronicles X got a release date of 5th of no American release date of 5th of December so it's coming out next next month. Fire Emblem Face got an announcement and I believe it got also a release date or a release window i'm not really 100 percent sure of what that release window will be um but it, it uh, well that's coming out soon and there was a brand new they showed off like they said that it's going to be two games basically they went the pokemon route they had 
two versions of basically the same game. They went the Pokemon route. You're experiencing the same story but in different angles. Especially like the it's it's a lot like the Pokemon Pokemon uh, thing. And then they have like a final story which is Revelation. And then there's a full pack um, where you can get all three sides of the story in one massive pack. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to be going for. And Twilight Princess HD is also coming to the to the Wii U. Uh, the game uh, kind of looks like a res up to 180. It doesn't look too different. I think they just like they just res it up a little bit to make it 1080p. Uh, I don't think it looks that different. And probably they updated some of the models. Uh, Dragon Quest 7, Dragon Quest 8 got it is coming to the 3DS. In North America and Europe, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow is being launched on the eShop on, I believe, I can't remember. I think it's February in February, um, 2016. So that's interesting. And also, you can also what's cool about that is that you can also trade. You don't need link fables to trade anymore. You can trade through uh, Wi-Fi, which is really cool. I like that idea. Mario, Mario and Luigi. They spent quite a bit of time looking at Mario and Luigi, and that game is coming out. In January, uh, Pokémon Tournament has amiibo support with Shadow Mewtwo, which is kind of like this Mewtwo with this kind of weird crystal thing popping out of its arm, and sort of weird. Um, then it's got his amiibo card as well. You can start playing as that character immediately. I believe you can unlock him in the game. Uh, Pokémon Prick Cross was coming out. It's coming out free to start uh, title. I don't know what free to start means. It usually means Free to play. I don't really care for those kind of games, so whatever. Uh, a lot of people were actually angry that there was no Pokemon Z announcement. I'm like, that's. A, I'm not gonna go on a rant about this. Zelda Wii U is coming out next year. It looks amazing for like the five seconds we got to saw see of it. So that was pretty much all the big news headlines there. So many great games are coming out for Nintendo systems in the future, and I'm hope and I'm hoping that I can get a chance to actually play some of these games in the future. Because Nintendo, man, this Direct was easily better than the last Direct in E3. It, it trumped it by a, a long shot. If they had this Direct at E3, they would have won at E3 like twice. They would have won at E3 like 16 times over. Like nothing, like nothing would have been better than this. Nothing. I Even even like Sony bringing out the big guns with Final Fantasy VII Remake and Shenmue 3 wouldn't be enough for the craziness we would have in of Cloud being in Smash Brothers, man. Just that news by itself is enough is enough to just keep keep people talking for until this character be, gets released. I'm done today. I've gone on too much of a rant. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later for some more. Uh, whatever I do. Peace.